IHN virus occurs in most every trout producing country. It is commonly seen in many parts of the Pacific Northwest in the U.S. where it presents a major disease problem. It is a rhabdovirus that is horizontally transmitted by entering the fish to the gills or intestine and affects the blood forming organs of young trout. Larger fish, nearly one pound in size, are also affected by IHN. IHN virus can also be transmitted on the surface of eggs, but egg disinfection helps to control the virus at this stage. Vertical transmission of IHN inside the eggs has not been demonstrated conclusively. Trout infected with IHN often have Popeye or exophthalmia to varying degrees. A red hemorrhagic streak may also be seen where the eye goes into the socket. Infected fish also exhibit dark coloration on various portions of their body, such as on the tail or midsection or front of the body. Pale gills are also commonly seen due to severe anemia caused by the virus. In advanced stages of IHN, the virus may be located along the fish's spine, causing disoriented swimming. Normally, a low percentage of IHN survivors will develop scoliosis or lateral curvature of the spine. Pale eroded dorsal fins may also be seen after the IHN infection ends, but this clinical sign can generally be seen with other trout diseases. Internally, a bright red spleen and very pale kidney are characteristic of IHN. Internal organs are not normally swollen in fish with IHN. The abdomen may be distended due to accumulation of clear fluid in the stomach and the intestines will often contain a yellowish fluid or mucus. These clinical signs are very evident in small fish up to four to five inches in length, but to a lesser degree in larger fish.